Melanie here at Extreme Couture. Always great to be joined by the one and only Mr. Jake Shields. Always great to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Just uh, just, just got off the mat, so I'm a little sweaty, but that's all right. We can knock out an interview. Hey, it's all good. I don't think the fans are complaining at all. Yeah, it, it is fighting, so I guess we're used to seeing men run around with no shirts. Yes, well, hey, speaking of fighting, the last time I was here and spoke to you, we talked about Sean Strickland fighting Israel. Hashtag and new. Yeah. He is the middleweight champion. No, that was amazing. I think we were doing the interview. He was literally sparring behind us. And yeah. you're like, what do you think? I'm like, he's got a good shot if he you know, uses wrestling and grappling. But he went and beat him on his feet. So I didn't expect him to beat him up standing. That was impressive. Almost knocked him out in the first and uh, even did better than I expected. So what did you make of just the whole fight in general? Well, it was just funny because Sean was in here wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. And his wrestling was looking really good. So I'm like, oh, I think Sean's going to, you know, take him down and control it. But Sean didn't go for one takedown. But thing is he was he was winning so it's kind of hard to you know if he was losing it'd be like he's stupid not to go and take down but he was winning the stand-up so he did a great job he just uh he just took Izzy's game away for him stocked him down stayed in his face he's extremely hard to hit you know I've sparred with Sean a little bit not super hard but just playing he's really awkward rhythm he's got like good move and slipping and he just completely threw Izzy off yeah very dominant performance and then now a lot of people are talking about what should be next because the whole middleweight division, I mean, you have Trikis, you have the Izzy rematch, you have Jared Cannonier who weighed in there. So what do you think? I personally, I mean, those all make sense. I think Trikis would be interesting because, you know, he's been looking really good. But then it also a rematch with Izzy because he's been, well, he just got the title back, but he's been, you know, a, he's been a champ multiple times. So I think probably Izzy, I guess, or Trikis. And then Cannonier would be good too, but but they've already fought. Yeah, I know a lot of good matchups there, but the rematch would be good because Izzy's a smart guy. He's going he's gonna to know what he did. He's going to try to break it down. He's going to come with a new game plan. But Sean will as well, so that's why the rematch is exciting. But if that rematch does end up happening, how do you see that one playing out? Um, I mean, Sean's got to be the favorite after that fight. You know, he won four out of five rounds. You can't really see Sean not coming in the favorite on this fight. I think, you know, the betting odds is hard to say. Izzy might, might come out as his fav uh, favorite still, but I would definitely pick Sean in the rematch. And, you know, it could be the same where Sean, like I said, Sean has better grappling. He just chose not to use it. He has that option to always go for takedowns and use his jiu-jitsu. And I know he already came back to the gym one day after flying back from Australia, came back. I saw you and him holding the belt. Yeah, right. Yeah, he came in, watched it. He didn't train yesterday, but it's the only reason he didn't because he had a messed up toe. He said he might, he said he might come in and box today. He wanted to train, but then his toe was a little too messed up. We're like, Sean, just, just stay off the mats. Yeah. Yeah, the toenails barely hanging on, right? Yeah, something, he didn't know what he did. Something, like, ripped his toe, it was all stitched up. Oh. It's one of those things, sometimes your adrenaline's going, you don't feel it, so he has no idea what he did, but his toe was, like, completely, like, ripped open, full of stitches. I'm sure the fans want to know, what's your favorite Sean Strickland story? Um, man, I can't, I can't share those. That guy's crazy. <laughs> no, like, I haven't really, uh, I just see him in the gym. He's a maniac, always coming in, yeah. uh, completely crazy. I've never gone out with a guy. That's probably bad news to go out, to go out partying with Sean. I'm like, yeah, I'll pass on that, but it just... I mean, the first time I trained with him, I had no idea who he was. I wasn't really following, wasn't really following fighting at the time. And then we're just going at it in the cage. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? You know, about about to fight in there. I'm like, he's tough. And after that, I started watching him, and now he's the champ. And we all know you're such a great grappler and a great coach. Big fight coming up next month: Charles versus Islam. That rematch. How do you see that playing out? Again, that's a tough fight. I'm excited for, but you got to favor Islam. Especially Islam completely smoked him the first time. I didn't expect that. I thought it would be a close, fairly even fight. But Islam smoked him. I think the rematch would be a lot better, but I'm going to have to... The first one was so easy, it's hard not to favor Islam. And last time we spoke, it was about Dylan Danis, Logan Paul. Do you think that fight's going to go through? Because we've been seeing some wild tweets. It's like 50-50. I think both of those guys aren't really that into fighting. They're both more into marketing. And Dylan's done a great job marked himself. I don't think he really wants to fight. He's gotten a huge win out of this, marked uh, press-wise. He's, he's got like 500,000 new followers. He's always, 500, he's always trying to buy followers. So for him, he's already got what he wants out of this. I don't think it really makes any, other than the payday. But I could see I could see either one of these guys pulling the fight. I mean, Dylan's done, definitely had the PR win. He's done some, a little brutal, but done some hilarious... Uh, I didn't realize that was still going on. And the morning I looked on Twitter and he's like still posting. Things. He's still? I, I don't know if he's been doing the whole time because I've been following, but I looked at something and I'm like, has this still been going on the whole time? Like it's it's kind of unreal. Yeah, what app do people use to buy followers? Because I, I, like I see multiple people all of a sudden one day grow a lot. Well, on Instagram you can buy them. I didn't know that. Someone said there's like an account where you like, they manage it. And like a lot of the big celebrities even have it apparently. Cause that's this person was telling me they do like a lot of the biggest celebrities cause say they'll have 20 million followers, but they want 60 million followers. So they look even bigger. And then, yeah, but he was, but on Twitter, he's trying to buy them. He's just, he's always saying, I'll pay people. I'm going to pay a couple hundred dollars if you follow me and retweet, but they never pays anyone. 
he's been doing that for years, constantly being like, yo, I'm gonna bless some people with some money, but no one's ever been paid by Dylan Dennis. Maybe he can afford it now with his uh, Twitter payouts. I'm sure he's gonna get some pretty big Twitter payouts with his growth. <laughs> but hey, shout out to the real fans and the real ones out there. But what's next for you? I know you've been trying to like get another grappling match. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just kind of focused on business and training yeah. fighters. I would grapple or fight again if it was like the right opponent and right yeah. payday and stuff, but I'm not really uh, hunting anything down. But I stay in shape, so I'm always ready to hop in and do something. Yeah, and we can all tell and see that you're in great shape. But for the fans who love you and can't wait to see more from you, what would you like to let them know? Uh, just thanks for the support. You can follow it, uh, Jake Shields, AJJ on Twitter, or just Jake Shields on Instagram. So. One of the most popular Twitter or X accounts out there. Yes, it's, uh, it's getting interesting. And now I get paid, so now I want people to follow me. Nice, good for like you. Sending me a check every two weeks. Damn. Or wire me money, I guess. Yeah, you guys are friends, though. I, I, he gives me money, so he's my friend now. <laughs>